Hi everyone, welcome to today's GCSE Foundation Revision video. In 63 days to go into your GCSE Maths exam, and today we're going to focus on the topic of expanding two brackets, so how to expand and simplify two brackets. Now this is quite an important topic because not only is it useful for its own sake, so for instance you might be given a question where you're given two brackets and you might need to expand and simplify those, but also you might be asked to factorise quadratics, and if you've been asked to factorise quadratics, it's important to be able to know how to expand the brackets, then be able to put the brackets back in, and we'll talk about that in a later video, but it's very important you're very confident with expanding two brackets before you then go on to factorising quadratics. So in today's video, we're going to look at how to expand two brackets. I'm going to go through some questions for you, and then there'll be some questions for you to try yourself. So let's get started. Hi, today we're going to be looking at expanding two brackets. So we're going to look at how to expand two brackets. So here we've got an example and it says expand and simplify x plus 2, x plus 7. So what this means is we've got x plus 2 lots of x plus 7. So if we do x lots of x plus 7 and 2 lots of x plus 7, we can add it all up and then that'll be our answer. So let's multiply both of these terms by x first of all. So let's do x times x and x times x is x squared. Then we've got x multiplied by 7. So x multiplied by 7 would be 7x, just putting the 7 in front of the x, so plus 7x. So we've multiplied both of these terms by x. We've done x lots of this. Now we need to multiply both of these terms by 2. So 2 times x would be plus 2x. And 2 times 7, well, 2 times 7 is 14, so plus 14. So that means if we have x plus 2 lots of x plus 7, we would have x squared plus 7x plus 2x plus 14. Now here, the 7x and 2x, they can be added together. We can simplify this. So the answer would be x squared plus, now 7x's plus 2x's would be 9x's. And then we've got plus 14. So if we were asked to expand and simplify x plus 2 multiplied by x plus 7, the answer would be x squared plus 9x plus 14. And that's it. So all we done was we multiplied both of the terms in the second bracket, this x plus 7 by x, to get x lots of it. We multiplied both of the terms by 2 to get 2 lots of it, and then just added them together to get x plus 2 lots of it. Okay, now let's have a look at our next question. Okay, this time we've been asked to expand and simplify x plus 5, x minus 4. And again, if you feel confident with expanded brackets, feel free to press pause, but I do have some questions for you at the end anyway, if you just want to watch it. So, let's multiply both of these terms. We've got x plus 5 lots of x minus 4, so let's multiply both of the terms by x to get x lots of it. Then we're going to multiply both of the terms by 5 to get 5 lots of it, and then just add them together. So x times x is x squared and x multiplied by minus 4 would be minus 4x. And then we've got 5 multiplied by x, that'll be plus 5x. And finally, we've got 5 multiplied by minus 4. Now, positive times a negative is a negative, and 5 times 4 is 20, so 5 multiplied by minus 4 would be minus 20. Now, the question said expand and simplify. Now, if we have a look here in the middle, we've got minus 4x plus 5x. So if you had minus 4x's and you add 5x's, you'd have 1x. So the answer would be x squared plus, and instead of writing 1x, I'm just going to write x and then we've got our minus 20. So that's it, we've expanded and simplified x plus five, x minus four, and the answer would be x squared plus x minus 20. Okay, let's have a look at our next one. So this time we've been asked to expand and simplify two x plus three brackets x plus four. So to do this, we're gonna multiply both of these terms by two x, and then we're gonna multiply both of these terms by three, and then add them all up to get two x plus three, lots of it. So two x times x would be two x squared, 2x times 4, well, 2 times 4 is 8, so 2x times 4 will be plus 8x. Then we've got 3 times x, that's going to be plus 3x. And finally, 3 times 4 will be 12, so plus 12. Now we can simplify this. If we look in the middle, we've got 8x and 3x. If we add them together, that's 11x. So we've got 2x squared plus 11x plus 12. And that's it. So if we we're asked to expand and simplify this, our answer would be 2x squared plus 11x plus 12. And that's it. Okay, let's have a look at our next question. Okay, our next question says to expand and simplify x minus 5, close bracket squared. So remember, whenever you square something, you multiply by itself. So whenever you have a bracket squared, I'm going to write it out x minus 5, and then the bracket again, x minus 5. And that means we're multiplying the bracket by itself. So we're going to do x minus 5 lots of x minus 5. So let's multiply both of these terms by x to begin with. So x times x would be x squared. X times minus 5 would be minus 5x. So we multiply both of these terms by x. Now we're going to multiply both of these terms by minus 5. So minus 5 times x would be minus 5x. And finally, minus 5 times minus 5, well, negative times a negative is a positive, and 5 times 5 is 25, so plus 25. And now we can simplify this. We've got minus 5x take away another 5x. So that'll be x squared minus 10x plus 25. And that's it. So if we're asked to expand and simplify x minus 5 squared, because it's squared, we're multiplying it by itself. So we write the bracket out beside itself. And then we just expand it. So we multiply both of the terms in the second bracket by x. And we multiply both of the terms in the second bracket by minus 5. And then just get our answer and simplify. And that's it. Okay, so there are examples. Now I've got some questions for you to try. So can you please expand and simplify both of these? Okay, so in terms of the first one, x times x would be x squared. 
x times 3 would be plus 3x, 8 times x would be plus 8x, and 8 times 3 would be plus 24. So we've done x plus 8, lots of x plus 3. Now we just need to simplify. If we have a look here, we've got 3x plus 8x, that's 11x. So the answer would be x squared plus 11x plus 24, and that's it. Okay, next we've been asked to expand and simplify x plus 9 bracket x minus 11. So we're going to multiply both of these terms by x to get x, lots of it. Then we're going to multiply both of the terms by 9 to get 9, lots of it. And then we'll add them together. So x times x, that's going to be x squared. And x times minus 11, that's going to be minus 11x. Now we've got 9 times x, that's plus 9x. And finally, 9 times minus 11, well a positive times a negative is a negative, and 9 times 11 is 99, so it'll be minus 99. So now we've got x squared minus 11x plus 9x minus 99. Now if we have a look here in the middle, we've got minus 11x. And then if we add 9x, we're going to go back up towards 0, and it's going to bring us up to minus 2x. So the answer would be x squared minus 2x plus 99. So we've expanded and simplified this. And if you got both of those correct, well done. Okay, let's have a look at two more. So this time, can you expand and simplify 3x minus 1, brackets, x minus 4, close brackets, and x plus 3, all squared? Okay, so feel free to pause the video now and try these two questions. Okay, in terms of the first one, let's do 3x times x. Well, 3x times x would be 3x squared. Then we've got 3x times minus 4. Well, a positive times a negative is a negative. And then 3x times 4 would be 12x. Then we've got minus 1 times x. That will be minus 1x, or just minus x. And then minus 1 times minus 4. Well, a negative times a negative is a positive, And 1 times 4 is 4, so plus 4. So we've expanded our brackets. Now we just need to simplify. So let's have a look at the terms in the middle. We've got minus 12x minus x. That will be minus 13x is all together, because we're minus and we're taking away another x. So we'd have 3x squared minus 13x plus 4. And that's it. Okay, next we've got x plus 3 all squared. So because it's squared, we're going to multiply by itself. So x plus 3 bracket x plus 3. Now let's expand. So x times x is x squared. x times 3 would be plus 3x. 3 times x would be plus 3x. And 3 times 3 is plus 9. Now if we just add the two middle terms together, the 3x and the 3x here, that would be x squared plus 6x plus 9. And that's it. And that's it. So in this video, we've looked at how to expand two brackets. And to expand two brackets, all you need to do is multiply all the terms in the second bracket by each of the terms in the first bracket, and then just simplify. And that's it. And that's it. So in this video, we've looked at how to expand and simplify two brackets. So hopefully you found this video useful. So in the description below, I've got a link to the practice questions. It's quite an important topic to practice those practice questions, because not only are they useful for expanding two brackets, but later on, we're going to be looking at factorizing quadratics and being confident with expanding brackets is useful for that as well. So have a go at those practice questions. Obviously, the 63 days are going to your GCC Maths exam, so keep up the five days, so keep up the, that daily practice doing those five questions every single day for Numeracy, Foundation, and Foundation Plus, but also keep up the hard work in your lessons as well. So the 63 days to go to your GCC Maths exam, tomorrow there'll be 62, so the next video will be out on YouTube at 3 o'clock tomorrow. So hopefully you find this video useful, and I'll see you tomorrow at 3 o'clock. Cheers. Bye.